what we see is substantial effects for prime age men and women, Mark Schweitzer, senior vice president at the Cleveland Fed, told News Pulse Finance. When I think about what stands out within the results, I go to the fact that we do see a problem, particularly for prime age men with less than a college education. They have the largest effects that we're seeing in our analysis. An expert from the Rand Drug Policy Center, who was not involved in the study, called the data one really important piece of evidence. And while the data gathering methods didn't enable the researchers to infer why men are affected more than women, Schweitzer said, what we do see is the evidence coming from national data on abuse rates of opioids shows that men are abusing opioids at twice the rate of women. I don't know why men are more likely to abuse opioids, Schweitzer said. But it definitely stands out that men with less of an education continue to have relatively high effects on their labor force participation. Schweitzer stressed the difficulty of separating opioid abuse from other factors that could interfere with labor force participation, such as recessions. We're trying to analyze how many people are working, and what's their response to being in a county with a high level of opioids, Schweitzer said. But we're doing it in a period from 2006 to 2016. Of course, there was a recession in this period, and that recession matters a lot when you think about the employment outcomes of people. So, you want to be controlling for that. The Cleveland Fed study does a good job trying to account for all the other possible things that could also be correlated with opioid prescribing and economic conditions at the same time, David Powell, a senior economist at the Rand Drug Policy Center, told News Pulse Finance. It's just really difficult to tease out, so this is one really important piece of evidence. West Virginia, Mississippi, Alabama and Arkansas saw a particularly high correlation between opioid prescriptions and lack of labor market participation, as indicated by this chart, and at the end of the day, no matter how much opioid prescription rates affect labor force participation, working age persons staying out of the workforce is a negative for the economy. There are real fundamental determinants of how large our economy can be, Schweitzer said. You want your labor force participation rate to be as high as you can have it, and we want everyone who can be participating to be participating. Adriana is an associate editor for News Pulse Finance. Follow her on Twitter at Adrian Ambles. Follow News Pulse Finance on Twitter, Facebook, INSTagram, Flipboard, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Reddit.